Hi everyone, welcome to our webinar. Welcome to Ask Us Anything. This is a webinar series where we answer your questions about Talent LMS Live. We always kickstart the conversation with a quick presentation about one of the features that you can use to maximize the use of your portal. And today we're gonna talk about the homepage. Let's get started because we will just touch upon the homepage and then we will get right into your questions. My name is Theo, I am part of the customer education team and I will be answering your questions live during the session. But behind the scenes, we have our hero, Mary, who is also going to answer questions as we go. Our goal today is to answer as many questions as possible, ideally every question during the session live or behind the scenes. Let's see what we have prepared because today the homepage is one of the topics that you have requested a lot and this is how we will talk about it. First, we will see why it matters to have a custom homepage. And then it's all about building your own homepage. At the end, we use branches as well in Talent LMS where you can create individual training environments. So then why not give them a custom homepage as well based on the reason that you set up the branches. We'll talk all about it in a moment. But let me just remind you this, this is a live Q&A webinar. We mostly focus to your questions. So make sure to use that Q&A button so that way you can ask any question you want. It doesn't have to be just about the homepage. It can be any question about Talent LMS. So again, use the Q&A button in the meeting controls in order to be able to send us your question. If you want to do it anonymously, Absolutely no problem. But of course, we would love to hear your name so that way we can always, you know, initiate a direct conversation with you. Just one last thing before we deep dive into the homepage world. This webinar is recorded. So you will receive the recording once the session is over. And we suggest to keep an eye in your inbox in the next day or two so that way you can receive the recording and share it with anybody who wants to see how to build a homepage and why you should invest in a good homepage. Let's get started. We have a lot today. But first, we're going to just break down what is a homepage. The homepage is the landing page that any user will see when you invite them to get into your Talent LMS account. So when you just give them the link to join your portal, the first impression that they get is your homepage. And because first impression is something that always we keep in our mind when we work with the software or we just talk to somebody even, it's a good idea to customize that homepage so that way users can see all the relevant information. And most importantly, you can customize the homepage to suit your branding, your tone of voice, your colors, and make it a complete part of your brand identity as well. In fact, when somebody gets on the homepage, they can register to your portal. So if there are not already members of your Talent LMS account, based on your settings, you can use the homepage to sign up and create your profile on the spot. Or if the users already have credentials, they have already a username and a password that you have shared with them, then they can just log in to the portal. And at the end of the day, customization means information, right? Apart from colors, apart from branding, it means information. So on the homepage, people can see information that you want to demonstrate about your training, the services you offer, and just tease their interest a little bit more before they actually get into the portal. And you might hear me talking too much about why branding and custom homepage is important, but I'm going to let a picture do the talking for me. So you see on the left side, we have a very minimal homepage, which definitely works. So you have a username and password field that you can use anytime to log in. And on the right side, we have a fully customized homepage, its own backgrounds, its own banner, welcome video courses, anything that you would like to highlight, this is the place to do it so you can spark the interest of people before logging in. So to be fair, we would encourage you to create a homepage which is fully custom, but again, you can always get started with a simple homepage and then take it from there. Let's just jump into Talent LMS now because there is a lot that we want to show you and I'm sure there will be a lot of questions coming up that we can answer. So how do we build a custom homepage? First of all, you have to be an admin. And I'm pretty sure that most of you here are already admins, right? So if you have looked at the admin dashboard before, let's go to the account settings. And simple as that, click on homepage. 
Now, what you will see here is the option to work with sections. So if we scroll all the way down here, you have those different sections that we can utilize at the end. The only thing that you need to do is have the contents, the videos, the images you want to use. So if you want to add a banner, click on the banner. And from there, add a title, subtitle, and of course, select your image and upload the banner that you want to use. If you want to use call to action buttons, like click here to learn more, this is how you set them up. You set the text, you add the link, and of course, then it's up to you to make a choice of the placement. You might be wondering, and I can see that question coming up already, what dimensions do we need? What type of image we want here? If you hover on the tooltip that you see here, and you will see lots of tooltips within Talent LMS's features, but if you hover on this particular one, you will see exactly the width, the height, and all of the technical dimensions. And of course, if marketing is the department who creates all the graphics and the elements that you can use, just give this information to your marketing people, and I'm pretty sure they're going to come up with a really nice banner that you can use. Or if you want to use, let's say, the key points here. This is another great feature where you can highlight, for example, types of training or types of services that you work with. So what you have to do is click on key points and edit if you want as well. You can have, again, title, subtitle of the section, and then you customize each and every different point. So for the first point, we have the text and then the title. And of course, you don't even have to bother about icons. We have more than 200 icons here that you can utilize. And then, of course, the call to action button. And you can repeat all of that for point B, C, and D. You can have up to four points. One last part here. And I'm going to talk about the menu on top. So the menu on top is something that you can always customize and make sure that you can create links that people would utilize based on what they would like to visit. For example, do they want to visit the link? Then you can always add a link. So add a link. And of course, you can just add your title, the link, and then show it before login in. So that way that is visible on the homepage. Remember, the homepage is visible before people log in. Or let me show you something different, how you can add a page. And in fact, how you can add a page, like a frequently asked page, that people can visit anytime before they log in or maybe even after when they are within Talent LMS. So we get to add a page. And what you come up with is this set of settings. So you have the title of the page, the link of the page, and then you choose, will that be just on the home page? So before logging in, or maybe will it be after? So you can also see that after being inside the portal. Let's choose both and then update. The moment you update, you see that in the background things change. So let's remove that box here. And what you will find out is that all of that is built again on the different sections. So this is a text section on top, and that is a text and media. What I've done, edit the section. And then again, you select what you would like to have as your copy, the button if you want to. And on the media part, again, image, video, whatever you prefer, upload or bring something from the web, pick the placement, update, and here we go. Now, this is visible on the home page, and you can always preview the home page from the telescope up there. You see, that's the page I'm going to preview. And if I click on the logo, I can see my entire home page. But within Talent LMS, you see that there is a little more icon now up there. That's because we selected this page to be visible also after login. So. At any given point, let's say I'm in the dashboard, I can go to more, visit my FAQ page, and the page will come up as well. This is good for a help center, for frequently asked questions, troubleshooting steps, or anything you want to share with people. And another thing that I mentioned before is custom home pages for branches. Why do we need them? Because branches are independent training environments. For example, you can have a branch about your vendors, your clients, if you want to provide training to your clients, or different departments as well. So different branches have different links. If I go to that vendor branch that I have created, you see it has a different link. It makes sense, right? Different link, different page. So then we get to the home page, and you do exactly the same. You see how different it looks. You can have a banner, you can also have featured courses as well. So you can edit the section here and then 
pick the courses that you want to highlight. And of course, I'm going to show you a trick. You can have different items on the menu, but also you can bring familiar items from your main homepage here. So if I go to edit the menu on the spot, again, we are in the branch homepage, right? Just add if you want to add something new or clone. And then I'm going to clone the FAQ, for example. So just select it and you will see that immediately that page is copied here. It's red because it's not active yet. It means that we need to verify, so over, and verify that we want to activate it. And now, of course, we can go to edit, make any changes, and those changes will only be made into that specific clone of a page. I hope that helps. I hope that this was a very brief walkthrough through how to work with homepage. And let's get to your questions, because I can definitely see that we have couple of questions right here. So I'm going to start with a question that many people are asking, and that is, can I clone the main homepage to the branch? And again, feel free to ask any question, not only about the homepage, but anything in Talent LMS. So I'm going to start with a question from an anonymous attendee. Can I clone the main homepage of the branch? Let me just verify that this is what you're looking for. So by cloning the main homepage, you mean that you want to clone the sections here on the homepage of the branch, right? Well, the quick answer is no, because we want the homepages of the branch to be independent from the main homepage, so you need to create your own sections. However, what you can clone, again, as we saw before, you can go to the menu and clone any page of the menu right there. I hope that helps. And let's see what other questions we have. And uh, there are a couple of other questions, especially coming up from uh, users who have simple home pages. So again, another anonymous one. We would love to know your names, by the way. Somebody's asking that since they're using the simple home page, can they also add pages on the simple home page? So let me just see if I get this correctly. You want to still have the minimal home page where we have the username and password, just like that, no custom sections or anything else, right? But you still want to use the menu items on top. The answer is yes, and I'm going to show you how. You still get to the custom homepage as we have it right here. And then you get to the menu, you add whatever you want to have on the menu, that being links, that being pages, anything you need. And then you go on the homepage here and you go to deactivate. So now if I just go back, let's just have a quick preview. Right, so it's still my custom homepage, but then if I go back to switch to simple homepage right there, we should be able to see that we have in an incognito browser. And if we visit again the portal, you see here, we have here the homepage, which is a simple homepage, and then we can have the course catalog or any other link that we will add there. I hope that helps. And let me just build again my custom homepage here and publish it. And let's see another question that comes up. So there is a question from Andreas. Is there a way to have the homepage available in more than one language? In my case, at least German and English. Well, Andreas, this is a great question, but for that, you would need to have two branches. Remember the homepage of the branches is independent to the main homepage, right? So every branch has its own homepage. So in this case, what we recommend is to have two branches, one being the German branch and one being the English branch. And like I have here, the Spanish branch in this case. So we can always just select that and then go on the homepage. Of course, change all of the contents to the language that you want, German in your case in English. And then of course, that will be the German homepage. But one more thing to make sure that everything will be in that language. In the info page of the branches, just make sure that you switch here, for example, the entire branch language to the desired one. So you don't only see the content that you put on the home page in the language you put it, but you see all of the rest of the environment, the fields, the buttons, and everything would match the language. Uh, let's see another question from uh, Lucina. Is customizing the email used for notifications from Talent LMS similar to customizing the domain? Would I need to contact someone with access to our domain name system? Great question, Lucina. And this is also another example that you can customize almost everything in Talent LMS. 
So let me just break it down. So what Lucina wants here is the notifications not to be sent to no reply at talentlms.com, but to be sent from, let's say, info at email.com. So there you have to go to account settings and go to your domain name. So you got it right there. You need to uh, contact somebody with access to your domain name system. Yes, that's usually your systems team or your IT team. And when you go to map a custom domain, and of course, let's say that you have your custom domain already mapped there, what they have to do is tick the box, send email notifications from your domain, and you will see here that this now changed and it reflects your domain. So I'm just going to stick to my suggestion of using info here, and then provided that this is an email that um, the IT team has also optimized the settings for. You see here we have a couple of settings that they can handle. And then when you're ready, just map custom domain and that should be it. This is definitely something that you need to get your domain, uh, you know, your team who has access to your domain name system. But yes, it's possible. So have a look at the domain parts and tick that box. Let's see another question. And that is a question from uh, Andreas. So they say that learners cannot reply to the mexample.com email a talent though you think. Yes, you're right. Because this, although it still has your domain name visible on, still it's an email that is sent from Talent LMS. So it's a good idea again to check with your IT team. And of course, if there is any question or any example that you would like to specifically look at, please send us an email that is training team at talentlms.com. And we will be able to uh, help a little bit further. And this is something for everybody who is with us today. If you have questions that are of that type of technical nature, it's a good idea to chat to support. So always you can go to the help center and of course browse the different articles that can help you navigate but also contact supports drop a message to supports attach a screenshot they loved you if uh, you will attach a screenshot there showing them what happens and then of course just drop them the message they will be able to get back to you very quickly and of course take it from there Let's see another question that we have here, and that is from Lorreen. Lorreen is asking, can I upload my own icons in the key points? Well, this is something that you might want to do, but it's not possible at the moment. What you can do though, is have a quick look at the icons that we have, because there is really a lot of different icons that you can use. So you can have, like I said, more than 200 icons last time, you know, uh, we checked. So you can definitely find something that, of course, fits the conduct. But if it doesn't, well, in this case, you would need to use code. So you would need to not use an icon here, upload the image that you want to use on a hosting side, and using HTML, you can embed, insert that image there. Let us know if you would like to learn more about it, but yes, the icons there, I'm sure you will find something that helps. Uh, let's see another thing as well. So uh, that is a question that comes again from an anonymous attendee. Can I use CSS JavaScript to customize the homepage further? Well, I would say yes, but of course it depends on what you ask. In this case, yes, you can do that. And we have curated a guide of customizations that you can always use. So let me just um, open that link quickly here. So we're gonna go through this together, right? So I'm just gonna open the link. And when you download your free copy of the customization cheat sheets, it will just open up here. And the only thing that you have to do is just filter through the homepage. So if you go here on the contents, you can just see different things about the homepage. And for example, if I just search here by the word homepage, yep, you see, it's just in front of my eyes. We have three different options. So if you just want to have, for example, a background image or redirect users on a different logo and so on and so forth, just navigate through that part, copy the code, and you see that this is JavaScript, right? So then we get to the theme that we are currently using and then get to the JavaScript parts, add the code, just add it on top really. And then you will get the results that you need. So yes, you can customize the homepage, but again, it depends on what you do. 
at the end of the day, it's always a good idea to consult your own team, your developers team, or your uh, front-end developers specifically, so that way they will be able to maybe work on different types of code that you can use JavaScript or CSS. Uh, let's see another question as well. And that comes actually from, uh, is it Julie or Julio? I hope that I didn't <laughs> ruin your name. So they say, can I use branches for creating home pages, different, different home pages for employees on my company according to the role? So depending on the group I put them in, they might see different featured courses, points, et cetera. Well, this is not a group feature. This is a branch feature. So definitely if you create different branches based on departments then yes they can have different home pages but when it comes to what you say about the group you put them in and the featured courses points and everything the home page doesn't work with groups because the home page is what people see before the login so when a learner for example logs in they will see the learner dashboard. And there they can see the courses that they belong, the catalog, they can join groups using the group key and so on. But the home page is before the login. So that's why the home page works with branches, but not with groups. But if you want to build branches based on the different roles, for example, or anything that you want to separate them for, absolutely build different branches, for example, manager training, junior training, associate training, and then they can see different home pages, featured courses, and more. Uh, let's see another one from an anonymous attendee. Uh, can we get a link to this training webinar? Absolutely. And you will receive the recording of this webinar uh, in a couple of hours and maybe it will reach your inbox the next day, but definitely keep an eye on your inbox so you can receive it. But apart from that, that brings me to another question that we received again anonymously. I don't know if it's you again. Uh, where can I see other webinars? Well, you can see other webinars on our websites. Uh, we will share this in the chat right now. And our website is tanatelames.com forward slash webinars. So there, not only you can see upcoming webinars and be the first to save your seat, but also you can see webinars that we did in the past. So that way you will be able to go through not only the Ask Us Anything once, but also other types of webinars Mastering Talent LMS, where we actually get a very, very thorough overview of features, and then we offer advice, and of course, at the end, answer your questions. Uh, let's see another type of question, and that is something that has to do with automations. So John is asking here, why automations can help me automate the courses? Can you give me an example? I think that you're looking for a feature which is in the premium or enterprise plan, right? So I assume that you already have one of those. If anybody else is looking into upgrading or getting to automate more of their work, definitely have a look here. The automation that you are looking for, and an example especially pretty much, can help you trigger actions that happen based on events that the users are doing. So for example, what you might already have found out is that when you select, for example, the automation on course completion assigned courses, it means that when somebody completes, let's say, become an efficient messenger course, they will get, let's say, leading remote teams and maybe essential soft skills for all. Does this happen for anybody in this portal who completes that course and gets those? No, we can filter and we can just isolate that automation to happen only on the people who are in the new hire group, for example. Or you can do the same with branches and you can choose somebody who belongs to the marketing branch. So you can create sequences of events that will happen without you having to do anything. Or because you asked for an example, one of my very favorite example is this. What about assigning different courses based on the score that somebody gets on a test, for example? And actually it is just right here on course completion with a score between this and this assign courses. So let's say that I'm gonna stick with my Spanish course here. So somebody who completes this course with a score between, I'm gonna say maybe 60% and 80%, they will get this and this course. And you might be wondering, but why do we have to do that? Because 60 to 80 is not bad. So we cannot really fail the person, right? But then 
maybe they need a little bit more content to be prepared for what they should be doing next. So 6 to 80 is a good way to improve. So we give them courses to improve and we add the automation. But then we can create another automation where we say for anybody with a score between 80 and 100, so basically the top of the class, they don't have to do those courses because they already are familiar with the content. So they can just take, for example, that course. So they skip the extra part. They just go straight to the next part of the mandatory training or of the training path that you might want to create. So think of the automations. And that is something that can really help a lot of people make the most out of the features that can help you save time. And there is another way that um, we can introduce a feature here. And I can see an anonymous question coming up. Is there an easy way to upload the names of the people who need train and the courses they need assigned to? Yes, there is. And we're talking about just copying pasting if you already have a list of the people that you use from your database. If we get to the import right here, what we need to do is download the sample Excel file, just like that. And then it is just a matter of copying and pasting. And of course, we want to make sure that you will already have set up the courses maybe, so you already have the course names, or you just have uh, done an export and you just want to shift things around. Let's go with the first scenario where we can just add people into courses. First of all, if you want to add new users on the account, you can just fill in here their username, first name, last name, and email, maybe use the bio as an extra field, and then just save and then drag and drop. That is the easy way to do a user import. But my friend here, you're asking how we can upload the names of the people who need training and the courses they need to be assigned. So we want to create users and then add them to courses or even create courses. If we want to create new courses through the import, just go to courses and again, just add all of the details here, save and drag and drop back to the import. And remember, this just creates the course, but then of course you have to go and put the content. If you already have the courses on board and you just want to add the users to courses, you get to users to courses here. And then again, by using their username, using the course name, you save, of course you populate, right? And then you save and then drag and drop it here. So this is the way that you can go about doing mass uploads of content, especially users, courses. You can create groups, branches. You can create lots of different things in the Excel file. But remember, you have to go into the courses and put the content yourself. So I hope that helps. And I hope that really helps you automate things and save time and at the same time, customize Talent LMS to the max. Let me stop sharing my screen and share with you a couple of um, details that of course, can help you if you have more questions. So if you do, please drop us an email and that is trainingteam at talentlms.com. We are always here to answer any question and we are here to help. So send us an email with any questions you might have. And the website that I briefly mentioned before, this is where you can see our past webinars, our upcoming webinars, and if you want to see lots of different resources that we offer, that is talentlms.com forward slash uh, webinars. And we answered your questions today. So we have a question for you in return. We would like to know your feedback about those sessions. So on the chat right now, there is a link about a survey and it takes less than a minute, couple of seconds maximum. And you would really help us, of course, find out if you like the webinar, what did you like about the webinar? And most importantly, if you have any question that wasn't answered and any suggestion that you have for upcoming sessions. I hope that helps. I would like to thank you that you submitted your questions and you were here with us today. And of course, I wanna thank Mary who behind the scenes also answered lots and lots of questions. Thank you everybody. See you next time. Happy training.